Howdy folks, and welcome to this Let's Play of Planet Base. We're going to start a brand new game, so we're going to click on New Game. Now, I've played two of the previous worlds, so Class D and Class F. Uh, D is listed accessible, uh, F is listed challenging. I actually thought D was more difficult than F, but that might just be my opinion. Um, we're going to try Class M. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, that actually represents the Earth Moon. Or actually, no, it's not. It's a moon of a gas giant with no atmosphere. <coughs> so, so, meteor storm, uh, meteorites, and solar flares, and of course, being unable to support wind turbines. <coughs> That's basically our key hindrance here. So, I'm going to just rename this in case YouTube. <coughs> Oops, base YouTube. And is there any particular position that would be beneficial? Let's maybe try up here. <coughs> Perfect. Let's get going. <clears throat> so as you'll see straight away, this looks a little bit different. It looks to be more barren, <clears throat> which of course makes sense. Given the fact that it's a, a proper moon, like our own moon here. All right, we got two workers, one biologist, one engineer, one medic, <coughs> and one droid. So in that sense, yeah, the starting point might be more challenging as such. <coughs> Let's go for the larger one again, <coughs> like I have typically done. I will, of course, want to build some solar panels here. <coughs> Not only solar panels, I will also want to build of course, water extraction, if I can. <coughs> and because, of course, there is only <coughs> a single uh, <coughs> solar panel I got at the moment, and I have to purely rely upon that. <coughs> I'm also going to set in place, of course, a power collector. <coughs> Just looks like there was a meter impact there. All right, let's see what other buildings we want to plan out here. <coughs> let's plan for a storage facility here. Let's plan for a canteen, quite crucial as well. Let's plan for. Let's prioritize that one. <coughs> Plan for a dorm as well. Dorm connected to there. I will want to get myself a <coughs> processing plant. Let's first get this uh, little bit up and running. <coughs> We're out of water, yes. I did prioritize it, didn't I? <coughs> I'm pretty sure I did prioritize it. <coughs> Perfect, we're getting some water. <coughs> and we should start getting some storage happening here as well. We're pretty much at the end of the day, so yeah, I'm gonna disable that building in a second. Disable the door in a minute as well, <coughs> just to conserve some energy. So as you can see, that is going backwards very, very quickly. Let's disable this one as well. <coughs> we'll purely rely upon the uh, oxygen for the moment. I know I'm going to run out of power, but yeah, oxygen at the moment is more important, I think, than the actual. Uh, <coughs> Other bits. Like I said, we were going to run out. <coughs> yes, 
this. I know we're out of power. <clears throat> he shouldn't deteriorate as quickly as the uh, previous building had to done. Let's see how we're doing in terms of oxygen. 18. Will we make it through the night? I think we will. <clears throat> Let's just keep our fingers crossed. <clears throat> I know you're, you're yearning for a meal. But... Uh, <clears throat> And for the moment, just say, just uh, hold your horses. I suspect that we got enough metal here for uh, a second one. Perfect, that's up and running again. <coughs> Using 30, <clears throat> we're using only 10. All right, we have reached survival. <clears throat> we're building up a reserve of uh, energy here, which is great. We need that. I'm not sure we'll have a chance to build that uh, <clears throat> solar panel in time. Actually, we might do. <coughs> anyway, it's my hope that we'll basically be able to fill up that uh, storage facility for the most part, <coughs> which would mean that I don't have to shut down everything at night. <coughs> Given our current disposition, I would say that we probably will be in a situation where yeah, we're going to be forced to have stuff operating for longer. <coughs> Support everything here. Perfect, it's full. <clears throat> okay, so what I forgot to build. Huh. <laughs> Always important to build a <coughs> biodome. <coughs> How could I forget that one? <coughs> yes, okay, people sleeping in the hallways is not ideal. <coughs> some stuff up and running pretty quickly like for example a uh, <coughs> security station but before then our priority still is first off getting a lot of bits up and running <coughs> it is night as you can see we haven't actually had to use so much of our energy there <coughs> now. <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> All right, let's get some food stuff in here. I need him. <clears throat> Got two medals left, I, th I think. <clears throat> yeah, two. I do need to get some extras. I 
think one of the key ways we're getting extras is <clears throat> yeah through my landing pad hopefully so look at my landing pads permissions yeah traders are allowed <clears throat> i will need to buy some extra metals from the trader i do need to decide upon what it is i want to trade away to be able to get that <clears throat> Also busy with this. <coughs> no landings as of yet. I'd hoped that we would get some, but yeah, no such luck. We've gone into the night already. <coughs> As you can see, our consumption is higher than it was before. But it's not so high that we actually wouldn't be able to do anything. Right, let's build that one connection. Just makes that movement a little bit easier here. for the purpose of the flow of the goods. <clears throat> I know we were short of metals, but yeah, still, we do need to do something. <clears throat> Alright, let's... What have I got working in there? My, both my workers? Yep. <clears throat> what else can they do but go in there? is low, but it's exactly the point where actually the morning starts. <coughs> Perfect trading ships come in 50% commission. supplies away just yeah, because well, I haven't had anything else that I could actually produce yet <clears throat> and I do desperately need those metals background is stunning though isn't it look at those uh, rings around that planet Slowly filling up again. <clears throat> Just getting rid of some of this stuff because it looks like I haven't got actually enough uh, for my biologist to be able to <clears throat> keep all of this up to date. now I have enough stuff here to be able to build a processing plant. <coughs> so if you look at the numbers, it looks like we have got five ore. And of course, that number is increasing still. Increasing thanks to the fact that basically we have facilities in place. Right, let's get rid of that one as well. <coughs>
that will use up some more metal, which I don't have. <clears throat> How smart. I should have bought some more to start off with. <clears throat> I already bought the bare minimum, didn't I? <clears throat> Alright, let's make sure we can get a bit more at the next uh, interval. <clears throat> Sun is just coming up, which now allows us to produce energy again. <coughs> and of course, the uh, storage facility is slowly filling up again. <coughs> I could bastardize something, but yeah, at the moment I've got no redundant connection, so. could bastardize the mine. <coughs> How much would that give me? I'm not sure. Ooh. I would really need to get myself a medical facility up and running. from there and at that point I will actually switch that off <clears throat> perfect that should have produced one ore <clears throat> I will now recycle that Landed. Could supply us with some extra bots and so forth, but yeah, we don't have anything to trade at the moment, so I will just send them off. <coughs> and prioritize uh, this one here. No, you just broke down over there. How could you? Just the biologist, we got sleeping there. Wow, look at that. That was a close call. I'd still love to build a medical bay here somewhere. Let's build it over here. <coughs> Should still leave me the means of uh, connecting this building up to something else next door. <coughs> Still suffering from his trauma. I was kind of hoping to be able to get an extra biologist in or something along those lines. heading off to there. <coughs> Hold on, I don't want to do that. <coughs> I want to build a sick bed first. Okay. That one's no use. <coughs> My injured guy should not be able to go there. <coughs> Finally, build my TV. 
<coughs> which hopefully will increase the happiness a little bit of the people. <coughs> All right, I'm going to disable that building <coughs> just for the very, very reason that at the moment I have no need for the Binnacle Bay. Let's uh, put the mine on the chart again. <coughs> As we want to build this, I want to build. Come on, be happier, be joyful, enjoy yourself. Your uniforms. There's still a meal left there. Producing our metals. Have I got any starch? It doesn't look like I got starch. <coughs> Should be getting some starch shortly. Ship has landed again. We've reached self sufficiency. Good. Very, very bad commission ratio. Anyways, great time for us to actually call it a day. So I'm actually going to save the game and we're going to exit in a second. So thanks again for joining me on this very first playthrough of Planet Tab M. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Of course, I did make a few mistakes in early on, and I'm correcting them. But uh, yeah, let's uh, hope for the best for the next episode. In the meantime, have a good day. Bye-bye.